Hi guys, and welcome to episode 5 of Scouting. It's hard to believe I'm already up to episode 5, but uh, this episode is called Flanking, and I am in my Type 62, the Tier 7 Premium Chinese Scout, and uh, we're in Lakeville, and uh, I've gotten myself into a Tier 8 game, and uh, that's quite generous, as this tank will uh, usually see 9s and 10s. But uh, the point of this particular video, you're going to see me do a lot of the things I've covered in previous videos. You're going to see, uh, you're going to see me relying on my camo rating. You're going to see me do a little bit of active scouting, a little bit of passive scouting, a little bit of attempted counter scouting. But um, as the game progresses, you're going to see the uh, whole reason for making this video. We're just going to uh, proceed, get it up to uh, scratch. Here we go. So. Uh, You'll see I do this in most of my games on Lakeville, whether I'm in a medium or a uh, scout tank, and uh, that's heading down the middle to, uh, first of all, stop enemy tanks from spotting our tanks heading into town, but um, also to uh, get spots off for my team on uh, their tanks heading into town. So uh, I'm going to sit here and let my Binox kick in. No enemy scouts spotted, so that is good. I've got to remind my team that it's an encounter game because most of our team have uh, decided to go valley. Now, based on the fact that I've got no support and I'm kind of here in the middle by myself with the exception of an SU-100, I uh, decided to start doing some damage dealing. I uh, haven't been spotted, but I'm working on the Cromwell. So uh, we're fortunate to track him. He's still there, I reckon, because I, I did put another shot in, but I'm not sure which one. Uh, spot an IS-3, and uh, again, that shot did go in, and the back of a Tiger II. Oh, there's the uh, Cromwell. And there we go. I managed to bounce what was potentially a killing shot, so that guy doesn't know how lucky he was. So uh, we continue working, and uh, Tiger II's hidden, but T-28 moving across into town. Nope, no shots there anymore. Let's go back to the T-28. You can see how poor the gun can be sometimes. That shot went very, very low. But we do a little bit of damage to the T-28. Cromwell's back, but uh, nope. Haven't managed to uh, do anything to him. Maybe we'll take a blind shot at the Tiger too, but again, shot went incredibly low. So, it's not an accurate gun, but uh, it does the job. So, uh, I am progressing. The enemy scout is dead, so uh, I'm still a little bit wary. There is a, a tank, a Hellcat, that hasn't been spotted yet. And uh, I am sure that he is somewhere here on the coast road with me. Either that, or he is sniping on the 1-2 lines. But uh, I decide to advance a little bit. A little bit hesitant. I'm kind of waiting for Sixth Sense to go off. I'm trying to get shots into town. More flanking shots. Again, I'm, I haven't shot at any tanks head-on yet. They've all been flanking shots. So I've been spotted, but I hang around to secure a kill. And somehow managed to miss both those shots. <clears throat> but now someone has taken a shot at me. So it's time to get out of here. I reverse. I'm uh, going to try and use these bushes to stay hidden. T-28 is coming across. I... I'm relying on my camo rating. But no, my camo rating has let me down. I have been spotted and I've got to move. So uh, thankfully, moving just as soon as Six Sense went off meant that the T-28 missed his shot. But now it's time to flank again. Oh, Hellcat. All right, I'm not going to sit in front of him. I'm going to get behind him. And uh, there we go. Hellcat's out of here. Tiger 2 again. Ooh, I got tracked. So T28 puts one into my track. I decide to repair. And uh, 
I'm gonna take care of this tiger too. And again, I'm staying away from his gun. I'm flanking, avoiding his uh, any damage he could possibly do to me. And he's out of here. So enemy team are now capping. And I'm still a little bit wary about the uh, T-28, but I'm, I'm off radar now. No shots up there. So, considering most of our team lemming trains the valley, and it was an encounter game, the tanks that did go to town did a really, really good job. So again, I'm flanking. I'm coming in on the tanks in town from a direction they are not expecting. And we've got the back of a tiger. There we go. Okay, Tiger 2 has seen me, but I have time to put a shot in. And now I'm considering flanking again, but then I realize that Tiger 2 is almost dead. So, okay, might as well go back. I've got plenty of hit points. The uh, Tiger Tiger manages to put one into me, but we uh, finish him off. And now uh, just two tanks left. We've got the Black Prince. So... Mm. I'm never going to penetrate a Black Prince from the front, but again, I don't want to hang around in front of him in case he decides to change his target. I tried to flank the two tanks. IS-3 is dead. And uh, there we go. A little bit more damage on the Black, on the black Prince, but uh, we avoid uh, the, his ability to shoot at me. So how did we do? Well, we finished up with almost 80,000 credits and 3,660 XP from a times two. As you can see, we uh, came first on XP and uh, we came second on damage. So I was the team scout and yet I was uh, second on damage in that game, uh, which was pretty nice and one of the reasons why I like the Type 62 or pretty much any scout that has a decent gun. We'll take a look at the detail report and uh, yeah, this pretty much sums up the gun on the uh, Type 62. I did fire a few blind shots and I did... Um, did miss quite a few shots. I fired 27, managed only managed 19 hits, so managed to miss eight shots completely. But the accuracy on the Type 62 is not great. And uh, again, penetrations, 19 shots, uh, hits, and 17 penetrated, which was pretty good for the gun. Uh, it doesn't have that much penetration, but it does the job. Uh, a nice damage total, and uh, we still managed to get a thousand spotting damage, even though none of my teammates were shooting at the. Uh, tanks I was spotting in the early game. Nice uh, almost 80,000 80, credits with uh, 73,000, 74,000 uh, profit and uh, a decent XP total. So this replay was all about flanking, uh, using the speed and maneuverability of your tank to flank the enemy. And I think you saw that firstly by working down the four line and the coast road. I uh, managed to get side shots on a lot of enemy. I wasn't uh, taking any of those tanks on head to head. When I moved into the enemy cap, I took on the uh, Hellcat and I flanked him. Didn't take him on head to head, I flanked him. I uh, then proceeded to uh, flank the uh, Tiger II. Again, I didn't take him on head to head. I then uh, used the speed and maneuverability of my tank to move from their cap back to town where I flanked uh, the Tiger and the Tiger 2 and managed to do some damage there as well. And then in, in the end game, rather than uh, sitting in front of uh, the Black Prince, even though he was preoccupied, again I used the uh, speed and maneuverability of a scout in order to uh, get around behind them and stay out of damage's way. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.